Hello everyone, welcome to the AgroForge Academy channel. This week, we're going to continue talking about pineapples. The last couple of weeks, I, I showed you how to prepare the pineapple pups to plant and how to plant the pups. You had the, the opportunity to see this uh, small bed that I prepared for the video. You can see now we've planted the prickly pear. With the pineapple, we still have to cover the soil with organic material. And then we're going to finish planting the other crops. But you know, I'm just taking a stroll here around my field. And I'm going to show you some six months old pineapples and how they look today. Let me change the, the camera here. There you go. These are six months old pineapples. You can see they look pretty good. You know, they're about the side, they, they, they reach just above my knee. So they're probably about 60 centimeters tall. And, you know, we always plant pineapples with cassava. And one thing I'd like to show you is the importance of pruning cassava when you have it um, with pineapples. Because look at this. The cassava has completely covered and blocked out the sun. And you can see that this cassava has not been pruned, but this one has. And this one has been pruned about two months ago. So, you know, when we pruned it, when we pruned the cassava, there was actually quite a bit of sun here. For the pineapple but now it's already it's grown back and so now we're gonna have to to prune it again and what i like to do is this three to four months after planting i prune back and it really i prune back you can see that i i cut the cassava right on the close to the soil and i pruned about 80 percent of the cassavas in the field now what i'm going to do is the ones that were left they're almost ready to be harvested you know the, these are six months old like i told you almost seven um so i can already start harvesting them they don't have so many roots yet so they don't have so much production but i'm going to free up space for the pineapple and for the other cassavas to grow back so this is what I'm going to start doing now to open up space for these pineapple babies, which could use a bit more sun right now. You know, you don't, you don't want, want to have more than 30 to 40 percent of your field shaded uh, with your pineapples. So you have to do this sort of management. And the great thing of having cassava is that not only it's, a, it's an amazing plant to improve soils because it associates with microorganisms and it grows well in poor soils and it produces a bit of organic material for your pineapple so that's pretty neat you can see that many of the rows have also prickly pear in between the pineapples you can see that it grows pretty nicely and the prickly pear is a long-term plant, so I'm going to be harvesting the pineapples probably in about six to ten months. And then after they, they produce, they're going to be taken out of the system. And I'll have the prickly pear left. See, this cassava is pretty, almost ready to be harvested. There's probably about 0.8 kilos of root there. So, yeah, it's not a great harvest because cassava can produce up to six kilos, seven kilos. But it's an early harvest and it opens up some air for my pineapple. This other part of the field, we had some problems with the cassavas. They didn't really sprout so well and they were all pruned back regardless. So that you can see that there are no cassavas shading the pineapple and they're, they're starting to go back now so these pineapples look pretty nice as well 
they even look a bit nicer than the other one because uh, there's less shade so it is a uh, when you have such a dense stand of cassava you really need to to take care so that the pineapples are not shaded too much but there you go you look it looks really nice and you can see that all the trees here they were they were pruned they were not taken down so they will continue to produce organic matter and to produce soil for us and we've got lots of trees which were planted in rows spaced every six meters and the pineapples are in between the rows you can see the banana plants there and then another row here with the banana plants we've got lots of other interesting species pineapples are really a great plant to have in between your rows of trees because it because it tolerates this and it likes a bit of shade so you know we've got this is a this is a species of Senna, which I like very much. There's some guava here. This is urucum. There's sugar apple. There's sprouting now. And then we've got tobacco, cinnamon, another Senna. This one is already pretty big. Check it out. This is taller than me. This is six months old planted by seed directly on the soil so it's a pretty amazing development there you go more tobacco then we've got this looks like masala if this is a this is something pretty neat you know you put your your seeds your tree seeds in between your pineapple plants because they provide a nice environment for the plants to grow in. Check it out. See, it's sprouting right in between the pineapples. And, you know, they're protected. They are slightly shaded. And they're going to come out from between the leaves of the pineapple plants. Check out the sugar apple coming through. And we got this small jabochicaba, which suffered a bit. But now it's coming back. So yeah, the field is looking pretty nice. This is another plant that I love, you know, pigeon pea. It just produces so much organic material. Uh, so I always have it with the pineapple as well. You know, but then you can just prune it. When it's small like this, you can I can like to just prune it with my hands, you know, just really quickly snap out the top of the of, of its branch and it's gonna open up some some sun for the pineapple. So yeah, I just wanted to share share with you these, this pineapple field, which looks pretty nice. We have about 3,000 pineapples planted here. And yeah, in about six months, we should start harvest, I hope. And so there you go, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep you updated with these fields. You know, I've got lots of fields going on. There's this new field here, which was the one that I, showed you in the last video this one has had about a thousand pineapples planted this is a different variety of pineapple it's prickless and i'll keep you updated so thank you for watching leave us your feedback if you like it you know leave us your thumbs up and we always like to hear suggestions from you from you know things you'd like to to see us talking about you know we, we've already had a few suggestions from from viewers and these videos should be coming out soon you know there's someone asked for a video of, of uh, showing how to prune a tree a fruit tree from the very beginning this will be done it's written down although we haven't done yet and so if you've got any other ideas or videos what you'd like to see us doing and talking about we'll be most gladly hear it and and do a video of your liking subscribe if you haven't yet there's also a link to our newsletter here right underneath this video and keep in tune for the next video the next week we shall be releasing a new one so cheers and keep it pruned <laughs>